One dish that my friends and family love for me to make for them would have to be my chicken wonton soup. I think it's because it's one of those dishes where you've got the best of both worlds. You get those delicious slippery wontons with a really yummy broth. So let's get onto the broth straight away. I've got 1.5 litres of chicken stock here. We're going to flavour it and infuse it. So with some ginger, I'll use the large knob of ginger here and I'm just going to slice it into rounds. I want a good amount of this, so six to seven pieces of ginger into the chicken broth, along with one star anise and some chicken. Now I've got chicken drumsticks. I'm gonna cook this really slowly or poach it in this chicken broth. And we also need two spring onions. We'll keep these for later. I'll just cut the top off and we'll take the roots off too. Cut that in half and that is also going to flavour our soup. Some coriander now, so try to get the roots because there's loads of flavour down the bottom here. So I'll keep the leaves for later, so that can be for our garnish. In with the coriander and some shiitake. I've got fresh today, this is going to flavour it also, but you could of course use some dried shiitake if you've got them in your pantry already. So let's add three of those. Now I'm just going to flavour it with a little bit of soy sauce, three tablespoons of soy sauce, and this is just to start with. So I'm just going to, I'm going to roughly measure it because this is the seasoning. Instead of salt, I'm using soy. So afterwards, once this is cooked down, I'll have a taste. If it needs a little bit more, we'll add some more then. In addition to the soy sauce, some fish sauce. So one tablespoon of fish sauce. I always tend to add a little bit less fish sauce because it's quite powerful. And we want to allow this to cook for about 20 minutes. So while that's happening, we can get onto our wontons. Now for the mix, I'm going to add this really lean chicken mince to a big bowl and some ginger. So you want a good hit of ginger. I'm just going to finely mince it. Perfect, so we'll just scrape that off. The remaining spring onions I'm going to add to this, so we'll just take the root off again and with a sharp knife, finely cut our spring onions into little rounds. Great. So you need a small amount. I'm going to add a little bit of coriander here. So all the flavours that we've infused the soup can go into our mix here. Scrunch that up. And again, we'll just add a little bit of that. So that goes in. Some shiitakes here. We'll take off that little stalk there because it's a little bit woody. And finally, chop this. So two shiitake mushrooms for this will be plenty. I'm just gonna turn that soup down now because it's come to the boil. Now for some seasoning, some ketchup manis, about a tablespoon of ketchup manis in there. Also, sesame oil is a must for this, so a few little dribbles of that into our mix. And now we need a binding agent. So I use egg white. We'll break our egg. And we only need about half of this egg white because we've only got a small amount there. So half an egg white goes in. And with a fork, we're gonna squish and squash everything together until we've got one even mixture. Right, now for the fun part, let's make them on a clean surface. So we're going to line them up a few at a time, just like I'm doing here. You don't want to overfill them either or else they will split. We do need about a teaspoon worth and we're going to place a little bit of that mix in the centre of the wonton. And then a little bit of corn flour that's diluted with some water just to make a quite a loose paste. And this is going to stick the wontons together. So mix that with the water there. Perfect. And now, just with your finger, clean hands here, we're just going to go around, almost trace around the sides there, and that's going to help glue our wontons together. So straight across, forming a triangle, and then squish it together, just so you're removing any air in the wonton. And just to make sure, just run your fingers around it one more time, and that's our first wonton. Done. By the time I finish these, this soup will be done and we can strain it and shred the meat off that chicken. Now that I've 
strain the broth. It's just back on the heat here. And you can see I've taken all the meat off the bone and all of the fat. So we're just left with beautiful shredded chicken. Now I've got two remaining fresh shiitakes here, so I'm not going to waste them. So we're just going to finely slice that and they just take a few minutes to cook. So that goes in there to poach. And you can see that I've left a tea towel on my wontons. Don't they look fantastic? So once this starts to simmer, which it's doing now, we can add the wontons. And these don't take long at all to cook. So that's going to take around two minutes. And I've got some choice sum here. These take moments to wilt. So I'm going to leave it just to the last minute. I am going to put the stalks in first. So I'm just going to cut them into two there. I'll add them now because they're going to take a little bit longer to cook. Some lime and some more spring onions. You've got to put lots of spring onions in this. And this is just for the garnish. So I'm just going to cut them on an angle quite thinly. Perfect. So in a big bowl like I have here, I'm going to add the chicken just to the bottom there. This will reheat as soon as that hot broth hits the bowl. Well, see how it's become all wrinkly there and it's quite tight? That's perfectly cooked. So let's place a few of these wontons into a plate. So now that we've got quite a lot of wontons in there, I am going to just quickly cut that in half, put our greens in just to wilt really fast. They just take moments. See, already cooked. And even if they're not entirely cooked, by the time everyone starts to eat, they'll be perfectly cooked. So with the broth and some of those mushies, be careful, it's quite hot. And then we can finish off the garnish. So good sprinkling of those spring onions there. A little lime wedge can just sit just on the top there. A few sprigs of coriander can go on the top. And I've got some bean sprouts here, crunchy bean sprouts. And I'm not finished yet. I've still got a little bit of chilli sauce because we haven't added any chilli to this. So I like a big dollop of that just on the side there. Maybe one more for good luck. You can see why this dish is so popular in my house and the way that I like to eat it. Well, I like to drink all the broth first and then dig into those delicious chicken wontons.